Since 2020, Georgia has become an epicenter of sorts of, of politics in this nation. We almost elected a black woman um, as, a, as a governor. Um, she came up a few vote, votes shy. Um, have a guy in there, um, Brian Kemp now, who's a more moderate Republican than some of the ones we've had in the past, surprisingly enough, in terms of um, governors or people who held office here. I, I, I expected like um, totalitarian shutdown of all things progressive didn't really happen, so it made me wonder, like, what's next for Georgia? Georgia has become an increasingly competitive state. Mm -hmm. People didn't start to notice until 2018 and 2020. But really what those are are the latest data points in a long line of election results that suggest that over the last decade, Georgia has become increasingly more competitive between Democrats and Republicans. Mm -hmm. And the reason why this has happened is for two factors. One, Georgia is a racially and ethnically diverse state, and it's become increasingly so in the last 20 years. So if we look at the first decade of the, of the 21st century, uh, we see evidence of reverse migration. So African Americans who may have moved north or west, particularly north since we're on the east coast, uh, coming back to Georgia. Atlanta is viewed as the black mecca, a place where middle class black professionals can thrive. So there are lots of people who have come to try to you know, win their fortunes here. In addition to that, in the last decade, we've seen um, an increase, um, and this is true in terms of our population, but it's also true in terms of the number of registered voters of a large Latinx and, and Asian American population. So the proportion of Georgia voters who are Asian American or Hispanic has actually doubled, basically, wow. in the last decade. And so that makes us look different from Mississippi and Alabama and, 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 and Louisiana, so states that also have large African American populations, but they don't have have that same type of multicultural diversity yeah. from people who aren't um, necessarily white or black. And so that coupled with um, a uh, large enough liberal white population, it's making uh, the Democratic Party more competitive.